Hi everyone, it is so good to see you again. Happy New Year to you, I haven't spoken to you already. It's good to share with you again today. Now, yesterday I happened to be watching the Andrew Marr Show. Yes, very boring for some of you I know, but I quite like those sort of things. And he was interviewing Boris Johnson. Now, I love to watch interviews, not necessarily listen to them, but to see how politicians can deflect the question they've been asked and give the answer they want to give to the question they wish they'd been asked. Uh, and Boris is as good as anyone at doing that. And, and I watched it and it was quite interesting to see what went on. Then today the BBC did a fact check on what was said in the interview to see if what Boris has said was the truth or not. And the answer was yes, what he said was the truth, or at least partially the truth. For instance, he announced that on the 1st of January we had banned what's called pulse trawling from British waters. And in fact, yes, we have absolutely banned pulse trawling on the 1st of January. What he didn't say was we could have banned it at any time we wanted to whatsoever. In fact, France and Belgium already have. Um, but he wait, they waited till the 1st of January to make a big announcement, while in fact it did, wasn't linked really to what was going on uh, at the turn of the year. So I just got me thinking then, what is truth? Um, and there's so much information out there at the moment that we hear that we need to kind of pick through to find where the truth lies, especially in the social media world now. It's very important that we do our homework and find out where the truth is in key subjects that are going around even now. But that reminded me, there is always one place I can go to for the truth. This is my very old student Bible. And I know that in here, every page, every word is the truth. And in here we have the words of Jesus. And he himself said in John 14, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. We know that the words of Jesus as we have them in here are the truth. And we know that truth is what we need in our lives continuously. We know Jesus referred to the Holy Spirit as the spirit of truth. And we know that that works within us. And we need that all the time. Then we need that truth in us and we need to show that to others as well. So I'd really want to encourage you this year, where we're all setting new disciplines as we tend to do in a new year and, and, and trying to reset ourselves. Get ourselves into this word of truth. Let that word seep into our lives and then that will then begin to permeate out of us in what we do, in how we act and how we are with other people. Really encourage you to do that today. I hope that's been a blessing to you and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Thank you.